friend indeed. Oh, she's a gold digger. Way over town. That digs on me. Hey guys, thanks for tuning in to Florida Drive by US 41 going northbound in southern Florida at 88 degrees at May 23rd, 2016. And I gotta get my damn coffee here pretty soon, but I think I passed um, the coffee shop or Dunkin' Donuts. Let me try to get here into the left if people will let me get behind the boat. A lot of boats out here. And if you look at the boat here in front of you, you see it has a um, internal uh, motor there where the propeller is. That's really not recommended for salt water because when they sit so much in the water, they can get all corroded. The ones above are better. You don't want to trans them like that. So, uh, you know, I'm just letting you know. He's got his fishing rod, so, and it's from Michigan, the one in front of us. But anyway, so I wanted to bring up uh, some stuff on, uh, at this uh, 1.45 in the afternoon on a Monday in Southern Florida. I'm US 41. And uh, I just wanted to do today's report. It's going to be my, uh, my report on my heart surgery, after my heart surgery. Well, guys, knock on wood, I feel like uh, I was just born again. Um, I had my bypass surgery. Oh, I don't even lost maybe 14 weeks ago or so a few months ago, and I feel pretty good um, Other than now I got stupid arthritis and uh, From taking all the medications I did get kidney stones So you got to be careful of that guy. So if you're taking medicines after heart surgery uh, You got to stagger your medicines and I found out take you know take a pill and then drink a bottle of water, wait a few more hours, take another pill, drink another bottle of water. So you can get all the crystals and the stuff out. Because what happens is, if you take too many medications, uh, your urine is going to get a high degree of crystals in them. Because don't forget, the medications get metabolized, but a lot of them are excreted through your urine. And you'll get a higher concentration of salts in there. And that's the problem. That's how kidney stones form. You get this high concentration of salts in there. You get one crystal, then... Uh, I don't know if you know about crystal growth and stuff, how to grow them. That one crystal is a seed crystal. And then they grow on that and that and that. And it gets bigger and bigger and bigger. And then when it gets too big, it gets stuck in your kidney. And it just sits there. And it's attached to the wall. And then later on, for whatever reason, it'll jar loose. And it can plug your ureters going down to your bladder. And then you're going to have some problem. If it doesn't plug, plug it. Uh, it'll slowly go through it and scrape the shit out of it, cut it up and make it bleed and all that, and you know, you'll be in, you'll be in so much goddamn pain, uh, it'll be horrible. Uh, <laughs> you won't like it. So I wanted to bring that up. But anyway, guys, so, uh, you know, you know, I feel good. The surgery, I think, was a success. I had a few side effects from it. Uh, I had a little lung infection and, you know, like some urinary tract stuff. But, uh, you know, it turned out okay for me. And I guess the bottom line is getting exercise after you have your surgery, uh, watching your diet. And like I say, I cut out pretty much all hamburgers and hot dogs and buffets and all that. They're gone. Uh, you know, I'll, I'll have, like this morning I had a salad and uh, I'll drink a lot of water. I take curl oil at night. Uh, I'm trying to, you know, I have, you know they give me uh, Ephedent, which is a, uh, a drug that prevents uh, the blood from clotting. And then they give me aspirin and uh, a blood pressure medicine and some cholesterol medicine. So what I've been doing is uh, I took my um, blood pressure medicine and it's a 25 milligrams and I take that, I'm supposed to take that twice a day. I cut that in half and I split that up one, a half in the morning and a half at night. And uh, my blood pressure still is pretty good. It, my blood pressure, you know, remains good, but I watch myself and all that shit too. So then also, um, and here's another pawn shop here, but uh, also what I do is besides um, that, I go ahead and take um, my um, simvastatin, which I take at night for cholesterol. And I'm supposed to take a half of a 40 tab, or a half of 40, I think it is, so 20. Well, I take the 20 and I cut it in half. And I don't always take it. I take it every other day. 
uh, substituted for krill oil. I was taking CoQ10 uh, uh, enzyme, but I ran out of it. I got to buy some more. But uh, you know, so but basically, I'll take a uh, effident, which is for blood clotting, and a metoprolo. That's what's called for uh, high blood pressure. I'll take those two, a half of one, and then I drink uh, you know 500 milliliters of water, one bottle of water. I wait a few hours, about two or three hours. Then I'll take an aspirin. Take my baby aspirin, and then drink another bottle of water. And then I'll go ahead at night, take my uh, other half of my blood pressure medicine. And sometimes I'll take a synestat, sometimes I won't. But either way, I'll take a bottle of water with that usually. And you'll know that you're getting enough water because your urine, and i got to run in here at McDonald's and get coffee. Not my first choice, but I think I passed the Dunkin' Donuts. So as long as not everybody lets me get in here. But anyway, so... Uh, and then uh, your urine, bottom line, your urine should really be pale yellow, okay? You should have pale yellow urine, and um, uh, you know, should be able to urinate uh, fairly easy. You shouldn't have a problem urinating, and when you urinate, it should, be, it should come fairly easy. Uh, if you're not urinating easily, and it's not coming easy, then you might have a problem. Uh, usually, I find uh, for what you put in, you get out. Now, like say you drink two bottles of water, which is a, two 500 uh, milliliter bottles of water, 16 ounce or whatever, and um, you drink two of them, wait about an hour. You should really roughly at least urinate about a, a liter and a half, uh, you know, uh, and then the rest should come out later because part of it's used in the body. But let me get my coffee here. Let's see. Order? Uh, yeah, I just like a, a, a medium black decaf. Do you have senior decaf at all? We do, but it's small. Uh, well, then just give me the medium. That's fine. Anything else? No, just medium decaf. Uh, uh, let's see what else you got there. Um, no, nah, that'll do it for now. 171 percent, okay? Okay, 171. Yeah, they got a they got a small decaf for a senior, but not anything larger. Now Dunkin' Donuts, all theirs are decaf, so I don't know. But anyway, so there's a University of South Florida plate. Okay. So, um, you'd have to, like I say, uh, a lot of, you know, a lot of that depends. Okay. A lot of that depends on the individual as far as, you know, taking care of themselves. But, uh, myself, that's what I do. And, uh, my health has, uh, I think really I'm healthier now than I was before the operation. Uh, I had a triple bypass, which means they take a artery out of your chest wall and they take a vein out of your leg. They chop them up and they make three blood vessels out of them and they uh, do as needed inside your body. Uh, I'm still a little sore, but I'm getting feeling back. It's gonna probably take a good year, I think. I'm sore still on my chest. Uh, I looked at one set of x-rays after the, after the operation, and it says I was healing pretty good. But it really depends on the individual. You really got to, um, we're not, we're not, you know, we're not Hercules people. And I ran for years, and it, it just caused more damage to my body and my bones from running long distance all the time. All that pounding, that's no good for your spine. A human being ain't, ain't meant for that. You're better off in a gym with uh, uh, isometric exercises or something that's uh, static instead of bouncing and running. I ran, I was running 150 miles a week. I, I ran all kind of shit. But you know, all that arthritis, that banging on your joints doesn't help. And if I wish I would have known back then what I know now, and uh, I'd probably be a, probably, I wouldn't have arthritis, I wouldn't have knee problems or arm problems. You know, but uh, a lot of that's going to depend on the person. So, uh, and I know this is kind of boring standing in the McDonald's line waiting for our food here, but um, what the hell? I'll get you kind of just get you a little bit there. That's some other area there. <laughs> some cars here. But thanks a lot, guys, and uh, that's my drive by for today in the uh, reserved drive by line there. See it? See it? <laughs> thanks a lot. Have a great day.